Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations. But your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, they shall alone. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson to do what we've been created to do, man. That's to warn the sheep. You see, blow the trumpet, you know, and and bring out what's really going on here on the planet Earth, man. So we're gonna start here in Revelation 12, verse 12. It says, "Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea." For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And this is why we see all these different events taking place in the earth. It's because what? Esau is fighting tooth and nail to uh, keep control of his throne, man. You see, he's doing everything in his power to try to keep this empire of his going. But he sees the prophets being raised up here in these last days. So he knows he has but a short time. So he's coming down with wrath. He's causing, uh, not not him per, uh, per se, but the Most High is working through this devil to bring forth different types of events. And we see Esau doing what he calls order out of chaos, man, or order out of chaos, causing a lot of things to happen in the earth, you see, so he can be justified in bringing the solution. You see, this is what this man is doing because what he's trying to usher in his new world order. You see? A one world government, man. Under the vibration and spirit of the uh of Satan, you see? Now, we want to go into this article because we know that all these events that are taking place over there in the Middle East, we understand and know that it's all according to the Most High's will, but he's using Esau to uh, uh bring a lot of these things to pass. Now, this article tells us what? It says, why the war will bring inevitable attempts at martial law in America? You see? And this is all prophecy. This is not some, some coincidence. The most I told us that this is what it would be here in the earth, here in the last days. You see, perilous times are coming. This is a part of it. These, the, these devils are, are, are causing all type of War in the earth. You're going to see them bring forth. Or uh, uh, conduct more false flags in the earth. And it's all to do what? All to be justified. And locking the people down. And, and, and ushering in that new world order. It's all prophecy man. This man is coming down having great wrath. You see and we've been telling you Israelites. That this, that this is what's coming. But a lot of you are in a spirit of. Of, of mirth still. You're in a spirit of thinking that. No tribulation is coming to you. You see, that's the furthest thing from the truth. Matter of fact, before we get into the article, because I'm not going to read much of it, but it tells us, according to prophecy, that what? Ezekiel 9. And we'll start at verse 8. It says what? The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah came unto me saying, My uh, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. That sword that's sharpened is Esau Edom. He's the sword of the Most High. You see? Let's, let's show you that real quick. Psalm 17 and 13, it says what? Arise, O Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul 
from the wicked, which is thy sword. And we know that the wicked is who? The Edomites, man, beginning with their elite. This is the sword that's being sharpened by the Most High. This is why you see all these different events taking place. You see, this is why you, <laughs> you, uh, uh, so like you. you see that proper again, uh, proper again. <laughs> that's why you see, that's why you see that propaganda machine, you see being spun up. You see all these, uh, uh, uh orchestrated events taking place. Well, you got this woman, she was stabbed in the stomach and somebody sprayed a swastika on the door. That's bullshit. Now you got these 1948ers just being randomly, randomly attacked all over the U.S., all throughout the world. You see, that's that's bullshit. These th these events, these events are orchestrated. You see, so Esau can bring forth more draconian measures because his his target is to do what? His target is to stop this word from going out. His target is to stop the mouths of the prophets. You see, because we're telling him through the Holy Spirit. That he's going down according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. See, he, he doesn't want to hear that message. So this is why we see all these orchestrated events going on in the Middle East. You see, we see all these different things happening here in the U.S. and all throughout the earth. It's because Esau is trying to bring in that order out of chaos. You see, setting up these agent provocateurs, you know, these shit starters to do different uh, and crazy things in the earth, especially here in the land of America, so he can be justified in bringing what? Shut down. So he can be justified in sending, sending troops into your streets. You see? This is what he's doing. This is why you see these orchestrated mass shootings going on. Shit is orchestrated, man. It's all set up. And we see what this devil is doing. And we're telling you what it's leading to. But a lot of our people are in the spirit of mirth taking this for a joke in a state of oblivion because they don't believe that this man would do these type of things, man. Hell, even some of the uh some of our people who know they're Israelites, they don't th think this man could, could be doing so, uh, some of these things, man. And how do we know this? Because we know we hear we, we hear what they're talking about. Like Yahweh Shah told us, man, we shall know them by their fruit. We know them by their actions, man. They're not speaking about the impending danger that's coming, according to prophecy. You got Israelite leaders talking about ain't no tribulation coming. When that's all that's talked about, <laughs> you see, and future prophecy. How the entire earth is going to be in a state of chaos when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. How it's going to be put, complete hell put upon the 12 tribes here in the last days. You see, in, in this article... <laughs> Let you know what they're trying to do. And it's all according to biblical prophecy. The article, the headline reads what? And this is from Zero Hedge. It says, why the war will bring inevitable attempts at martial law in America. So as this war rages on, as it is, as we, as we see it doing in the Middle East, you're going to see more and more draconian measures uh, be pushed forth. You see, you're going to see a... Hey, we're letting you know right now, you're going to see so, uh, many more so-called anti-SIM anti attacks. Or, those, or, or you're going to see more events where the, the 48 ers are going to be attacked. You see? Then you're going, to see for, you're going to see what? You're going to see more restrictions be put on the internet on, on, on what you can and cannot say. Then eventually the famine of the world is going to hit. Then eventually you're gonna see the troops being rolled into your cities. You got a small glimpse of that during during, uh, during that first lockdown. You see? Cause what 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 was it? Was it Philadelphia? You had those uh those troops running uh, rolling into the city with those big ass M wraps and all that. You're gonna see more of that take place here in these last days because this is what it's all leading to. They're trying to control the population of the people. And, 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 and prophecy lets us know that that's what they're trying to do. And it's going to get real bloody out here, man. You see? Oh, I should have looked for that article from our RT News from last week or the week before last. 
where it said that in Israel, they're trying to push forth a law where the police can uh, execute their own people for things that they say. Those type of measures are, 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 are what's coming to the land of America, man. And these people can't, they can't comprehend that or fathom that because of all this liberty that, that they've been given here in this land for, uh, for, uh, for all this time, man. They can't imagine because they still believe that the Constitution is being upheld. You see? When all that is being taken away from you right before your eyes. And, and, and <laughs> when those constitutional rights are, are, are threatened and the people are, are finally full, are, are fed up with it, you're going to have blood running the streets, man. You're going to have all chaos break loose be between the, the, the elite. You see who's going to be working through there, trained soldiers, and you're going to have the people who are going to be standing up for their rights, man. And there's going to be war out here in the streets of America and throughout the rest of the planet. This is what's coming, man. Ezekiel 21 and 9. And this is that devil coming down having great wrath, man. This is that sword that's being sharpened and furbished. Every, all these events we see taking place on the earth, especially what's going on going on over there in the Middle East, that shit is going to intensify. And as it intensifies, you see, the walls are going to get close, uh, uh, are going to move in closer and closer, man. More and in, in, in harsh draconian measures are going to be uh, es established. <laughs> the Most High is going to have the elite put the squeeze upon you people. Verse 10 says what? It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Should we be in the spirit of mirth or talking about ain't no tribulation coming when that's all we see on the horizon? That's all we see, man. These people are moving about, especially here in the land of America. <laughs> They're moving about as if nothing is going on, man. You see? That's, that's, this, this is, they're being walked down by biblical prophecy. And that's why the Lord Yahweh Shah told us that what? When, when it finally happens, you see, when all hell really breaks loose, it's going to be as a thief in the night because these people are not expecting this to come. It, once again, especially here in the West, especially here in the land of America, man. These people don't have a care in the world. Let me say the majority of these people don't have a care in the world because you do have some some Americans who are on are on their toes watching out for what's really going on. But for the for the mass majority of them, man, they're a hey, they're covered in gross darkness. Especially the majority of our people, two thirds of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. So that's why the most I said of the prophets, you see, for you to come to to get this understanding. So you won't be cut out here with your ass out. But once again, the majority of our people, they don't want it. They're in the spirit of uh, get money, nigga. You, you, you bum ass niggas. Well, all you want to do is read books. Man, we're giving you the wisdom not to understand that you need to endure through these harsh times that we're coming into. Because as it tells you in Zephaniah chapter 1, that your gold and your silver shall not deliver you in the day of the Lord's wrath, man. You see? So for all you niggas who are here to my get money this and get money that, and you're worship, out here worshiping that damn fiat currency, don't you see that the, the, the fucking banking system, system is collapsing? You just had Bank of America where they, they couldn't even get your fucking deposit out. So now what you going to do? And guess what? That shit is just going to intensify and cause more chaos to happen. It's a part of the plan, man. But it says what? Ezekiel 21 and 10. And, and, that, and that's that man coming down having great wrath. You see? <laughs> Cutting off all the, all the, the resources that you have. 
And the only ones who are going to be able to endure this time are those who are up under the shadow of the Almighty. Those who are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, which is his truth. And all you niggas who are out here talking shit and, and, and putting your whole, your whole trust in a, in a fucking uh, piece of paper, a dollar that can't save you, you're going to be a, a you're going to be SOL, man. You see? So Ezekiel 21 and 10, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Is that should be the it, it, should that be at the forefront of our mind with all these things we see on the horizon? Now you have your downtime or some time you take to yourself to uh, uh unwind a little bit, but that ain't the end all be all for us. That's not the spirit that we're in 24-7. Because we understand what's about to happen. We see it coming. We see it brewing, man. It says what? It contemned the rod of it contemned the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. The sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. The Most High is about to use Esau to slay <laughs> two thirds of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's about to use Esau to put complete hell upon you tribes, man. Because we're living in a, a great time of judgment. Verse, verse 12 says what? Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. You see? This is what's coming, man. The, the Most High is about to use Esau to, to, to whip you niggas across the head, man. This is what all these different events in the earth are, are leading up to. Like I say, you see the banking system collapsing. That's going to cause niggas to go at shit. Not only niggas, <laughs> but the inhabitants of the earth to go into a state of what? what? Rebellion. We see this war. Uh, 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 ramping up in the Middle East that's going to cause more chaos because as, as it intensifies you're going to have the government get stricter and stricter man putting the clamps tighter and tighter on you people which is going to cause chaos <laughs> you see you're going to start to see a, 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 a Resources start to lack more and more, which is going to cause more chaos and uproars of the people. You see? Layoffs are going to happen. So you're not going to be able to, hey, you're not going to be able to pay your rent or your mortgage or your car note. Or you have, have the funds to get the scarce resources that are going to be out here, which is going to cause more chaos. And with all that chaos going on, what are they going to bring? They're going to bring no order by sending these troops into your streets. And that's all prophecy, man. This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is causing to happen in the earth. You see? So let's read a little bit of this article, man. I'm not going to read the whole thing. If you want to go find it, you can go to Zero Hedge, type in the headline, and it'll pop up. Or you can, you can just go to Google and type it in, and it'll pop up for you. So it says what? Why the war? will bring inevitable attempts at martial law in America. You see that? This is what's happening. Let's, let's read a little bit of it. It says, what? Not long ago, at the height of the fear of, of the global P, the U.S. underwent a change that many people argued would never happen. For years, I have heard people say the authoritarian, yeah, the authoritarian, Controls in America are ten four hat C theories. Cause now see even that you gotta watch what you're saying on YouTube because what? There is more censorship happening. And guess it's gonna continue in continue to intensify. Do you see that? You can't even speak as freely as you could 10, 15, 20 years ago, man. Why is that? <laughs> because more more draconian measures are being put into place gradually. And it's just going to intensify to, to the point to where you ain't going to be able to say shit. To, to where if you say the wrong fucking thing on the internet, it could be to the point to where they, they, you, get a, you get a fucking knock on the door one night. And they come take your ass away somewhere. 
You might say, is, oh, that's some Hollywood movie type shit. But this is what's happening in the earth, man. All those things we see in those Hollywood movies is, is, is the elite letting you know where everything is going to. All those movies were giving you a heads up of what they're about to bring to pass. You see? Minority Report with the Thought Police. You committing thought crimes. You're just thinking the wrong shit. Get your, get your ass locked up. This is what's happening, man. <laughs> you see? Uh, what's the other one, man? Equilibrium. Where it was to the point to where you, could, you couldn't even read fucking books that they didn't uh, uh, allow to be in circulation. You couldn't even enjoy art because they didn't want you thinking outside of the box. You couldn't even enjoy music or something. And you see what they're pushing. They're pushing idiot vibrations through this music with the likes of Sexy Red and Megan Thee Stallion and all these dumbass mumble rappers. You see? <laughs> it's all happening just like they're telling you in the movies, man. It's prophecy, baby. <laughs> it's happening. So it says what? So this is not a, a seed theory. That's a term that they're throwing out there to, to, to demonize anyone who's think, uh, uh, going against what they're telling you to think. So it goes on to say, it says what? And doom mongering. But that's all we see happening. Doom on the horizon, man. It says what? All the prepping, all the talk of commu uh, community organ organizing, all the guns and the gear and the training were, were for nothing. Then C hat the C agenda hit like a freight train train. It says what well, our constitutional rights were no longer set in stone, but mere guidelines that the that the, that government officials could bend and break in the name of public health safety. You see? And best believe it's gonna be another one on the horizon where they're gonna use these same tactics, man. You see a second L down, she can't, can't even fucking speak no more. A second L down is coming, man. And it's going to be worse than the first. You see? And when that come, come it's going to be more censorship on the internet. So forth and so on. All that. It says what? Laws no longer had to be passed through a series of checks and balances. Mandates could be implemented as if they were laws without public oversight and enforced unilaterally. And that's what we saw. Put that damn mask on. You see? Get this juice put up in you. And it was making it mandatory for you to what? If you ain't have that juice, you can go into different, uh, certain stores. If you didn't have that juice, you can, work at, you can work at certain jobs. If you didn't have the mask on, you couldn't come into the buildings. And you people had no say so over the matter. They was just pushing that shit forth. This is what's coming even harder this uh, during this next round. You see of L downs, man. Especially with this with the fucking situation going on in the Middle East intensifying. You see, it says what there was talk primarily among Democrats of severe punishments for people who refused. The pointless sea juices. They wanted juice passports. They wanted prison times for those who spoke publicly publicly against the juice. They wanted people's jobs taken. Look at that. I hadn't even read this far. <laughs> That's the spirit. It says what? They wanted people's jobs taken away. They wanted their children taken away. And they were given, they were even given plans to build sea detention centers to segregate and lock up. Juice deniers. This is what's coming, man. <laughs> this is what's coming. And it's all laid out in prophecy. <laughs> and you got Israelites still talking about Babylon the greatest, the promised land. That this is the land that the most I promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You got Israelites thinking that this is the kingdom of heaven already, man. When this is complete hell. It goes on to say, it says what? It boggles the mind, but this was ser but this was serious, a serious debate within the U.S. 
and it was all triggered in the span of a year. Nearly half the country was willing to abandon the Bill of Rights over a V with a survival rate of 99.8%. The conspiracy shit, the seed theorists were right, were right all along. Our freedoms rest on a razor's edge and preparing to survive and fight for those freedoms is perfectly rational. And this is what we're going to see it taken to. You're going to have those who are going to lay down with what and get in bed with what the elite are pushing forth. And you're going to have those who rebel. And guess what? That's going to cause more chaos in the earth, uh, in Babylon. That's going to cause a civil war to break out here. You see, and when that takes place, prepare to see the tanks rolling into your cities. The troops marching up and down the streets. Armed to the teeth. You see, the, to carry out the will of the elite. You see? But you see it goes on, man. You can go read more on it. But it's all laid out in the prophecy, man. The most I told us this was, this was coming. So let's go here to 2nd Edges, chapter 15. And it's the same thing over and over because we can we can only say what the most I has already said, man. There's that's what it is. It says what? 2nd Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You hear that? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Why? Because great tribulation is coming. This man is having is coming down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. He's trying to wrangle in all the people of the earth, you see, to, to make them bow up under the uh, 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 uh or bend the knee to bring them into that new world order, man. And he's gonna do it by way of violence. He's gonna do it by way of the sword. And watch, you're gonna see more events take place for them to be. Uh, to, uh, yeah, you're gonna see more events happen for them to be justified in, in, in bringing forth these draconian measures. Then they're gonna, they, then they're gonna gaslight you to make you feel like this is for your protection, that this is for your betterment, that you know what I'm saying, that this is for the benefit of the people. <laughs> and every one of those who don't want to get down with the program, guess what they're gonna label you as? You see. A domestic T <laughs> who's a threat to the people. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to get rid of you. You see, and this is mainly for who? The true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now it goes on to say, verse 15 For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. This is what's coming because the Most High is causing all type of hell and chaos to break loose forth here in the earth. And we see all the things being set in motion to cause this to come to a head. You got people losing their home. Their homes are being foreclosed on because the uh, cost of living is too fucking high. The, uh, the, the wage is not going up. You see people having to default on their auto loans. You see people fucking uh, gripe and complain about the inflation and the, and, and the grocery bill. How much the uh, utilities are costing. You see? People are angry in the earth, man. Living paycheck to paycheck. And and soon come, the people are going to have, a, it's, it's going to be enough. Enough. And they're gonna they're gonna war against each other. It says what? The sword of oh, oh, Salaki. Verse uh, 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see that? This is what's coming. Because of how things are being handled by your government. The people are going to uprise against it. You see? They're not going to regard what, what, the, uh, what the president has to say or what the governor has to say. They're not going to give a fuck about no... Uh, 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 let me say some of the people. 
Because you're going to have those who are going to be easily carted into the New World Order without any type of opposition. But you're going to have those, you're going to have some of those who are going to fight. That's what all these militia groups are set up for. They're going to fight to protect their uh, uh, quote-unquote constitutional rights, you see? They're not going to give a damn about the police <laughs> or the powers that be. It's going to be complete lawlessness and anarchy in the streets of Babylon the Great, man. You see people can't can't see it because everything is continuing on as it always been. Fucking sports on 24-7. You got an en uh, endless supply of uh, 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 bread at the moment where you can just go and get anything that you want at any time of the day, you see, to be nourished. But we're here to let you know through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem that that time is coming to an end. This great abundance of entertainment and, and bread that you people have right now, the Most High is going to end that, man, as a judgment and punishment upon you people, especially two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now it goes on to say, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able do you see that this is what this article is going into because when all this chaos pops off especially in the midst of a, a, a wartime the cities are going to be shut down all this traveling freely as you wish is going to come to an end is because martial law is going to be initiated you see that matter of fact let's keep going oh, let's see what else we got let's see uh Let's see. Where did it go? It says, well, martial law in the U.S. would only ever work if a majority of the conservatives support it. This is a fact without our backing martial law will fail. And, that, and, that's, and that's the delusion of the people. You really feel like you have a say-so in the matter. <laughs> you see? <laughs> this is what you pe people fail to realize. These elites don't give a damn about your opinion. These, you still talk about the conservatives and the liberal. They all work for the same people. They all work for the elite. You see, controlled opposition, that's what it's called. You people have no say-so in the matter. This is what's coming. To my, it, it can only work. No, it's, go, it's, it's going to work because the Most High is, has already ordained it to come to pass. <laughs> You have no say so in the matter. There's no free will. You're not doing anything of your own accord. This is already set up to take place here in the land of America according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see, it says what? This is the fact. Without our backing, martial law will fail, just as the sea mandates fail. Keep in mind, Biden and his globalist friends have used every possible tactic to make martial law an inevitability. Economic instability and stagflation have created a spike in violent crime and looting. You see, and that's all prophecy. That's prophecy. <laughs> it's supposed to be this way according to the Most High's will. You see? It says, what, well, mass illegal uh, mig migration is dragging down state welfare systems and is creating a trend of cultural dilution. Open borders have allowed any number of possible foreign hostiles into the U.S., in the midst of, uh, of war, the government desire to control information and public discourse and will be at its apex. Slacky. In the midst of war, the government desire to control information and public disc discourse will be at its apex. You see, because they want to spin their propaganda, so forth and so They want to control the narrative completely. And they're going to only give you what they want you to know or uh, what they want you to believe. You see? It says what? However, as we have seen during C-19 and the Ukraine war, they have not proven effective at accomplishing this. As long as the internet is in place, it does not matter what kind of algorithms Big Tech applies to stifle the truth. The truth still finds a way. This means that the establishment will have to pursue extreme measures that can only be achieved within martial law environment. 
I see this situation going one or two ways if the current global geopolitical trend continues. But the thing is, once again, these people have no say so in the matter. And they will take it to the extreme. Because once again, this man is coming down having great rap because he knows that he had but a short time. And he's going to do everything he can in his power. <laughs> you see? To control the narrative. To, to control the narrative. And that includes uh, mass censorship of the internet. Of what the people see. Of what you hear. This man is willing to take it there. And he will. Matter of fact, let's, let's, let's read a little bit more of this. It says, what, a multi-front option there. It says, what, a multi-front war breaks out in the Middle East, including nations like Syria, Iran, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Yemen. Israel, Israel faces serious failure. The U.S. is dragged into the war on Israel, uses its nuclear arsenal to destroy the, the resources, including populations of enemy nations, leading to a possible involvement of China, Russia, and thus the U.S. is still dragged in. And that's what's, that's prophecy. <laughs> that's prophecy. That's prophecy, man. All these events are leading up to this. Everything that we're reading about in this article has already been laid out in the scriptures and we see it playing out right before our eyes. You see? War A, the Great World War Three, is going to pop off. America is going to be thrown into a complete state of chaos, man. Because once again, this is what the Most High had laid, has laid out from the beginning. These, these events that are taking place in the earth are not happening by coincidence. They're happening because the Most High ordained it to be so from the beginning. Matter of fact, we done on the article, man. Let's just get more of the word of the Lord. Let's get Isaiah 46. And A, it says what? Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High and there is none else. I am the Most High and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. And this is what we're witnessing. We're seeing the counsel of the Lord play out right before our eyes man this is all biblical prophecy playing out right before you and now you're having these uh, uh journalists write these articles you see speaking these speaking these things and don't understand that they're all talking about biblical prophecy coming to pass we've been out here hey, beginning with our apostles and elders been not they've been out here for 40 plus years telling that this was coming and here it is man here it is. Whew. What does it say? Habakkuk chapter 2. It says what? Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. What is the vision, man? The prophecies. They, they are for an appointed time. And we're in that appointed time. Where we're, we're starting, to, where we're seeing all these things come to pass just like the most I said would happen. You see, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And it's speaking. Everything the prophets are bringing out, you are seeing it unfold right before your eyes every day. You're reading these news articles and this is what the prophets have been telling you is going to come to pass through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because this is what our father, you see, our almighty power has ordained to come to pass. It's here. It says what? Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come in this. It will not tarry. And we see it's not tarrying. Everything is right on time according to the will of the Lord, man. You see? And, and it's only going to be a matter of time for this whole entire land known as America. It's thrown into a complete state of fucking chaos according to what the Most High has spoken. This is what it is. Now let's go back to... Uh, so we can read more. You can go read the rest of the article on your own, but it's it's all laid out in prophecy, man. It says what? Second Ezra 15 and 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because martial law is going to be initiated. And when those U.S. troops can't get the job done, guess what's going to happen? They're, they are going to send the U.N. troops. 
and shit is really going to pop off there, man. Because they don't have any ties to this place or you people in it. So they're going to be on one. It says what? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. You see? Nothing good is coming here to the land of America, man. This land is not blessed. It's cursed. You And you people are cursed with it. You see? The cities are going to be troubled because what? Complete hell is going to be breaking loose out here. You see, a time of trouble that has never been since the earth was created. That's what's coming to the land of America, man. It says what? And men shall be afraid. Because the most high is going to be unleashing major judgment in this place. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. <laughs> you see? Verse 19 says what? Well, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread and for great tribulation. These are the times that the Most High is bringing this earth into, especially the land of America. Where you're going to have neighbors gunning each other down over loaves of bread or cans of beans. You see, holding your family hostage and using your wife and your daughters as bartering token, tokens, you see, for resources. And it sounds far-fetched now because you people can't, you, you, you're so far gone in the fucking, uh, the carefree spirit of America that you can, you can never imagine that this happen, that this could happen. This can only be a, a Hulu, Hulu series or this can only be a movie or, you see? But this is about to be reality very soon, man. And we see all the thing, all these events taking place in the earth, and it's gonna lead to this in an instant, out of nowhere. Well, not for us, because we're expecting it to happen, we're praying for it to happen, but for everyone else, it's gonna come out of nowhere upon you, man. You see, and when it happens, you're gonna know that a prophet have been among you. We've been telling you this for years. You've called us crazy. Why don't you niggas get jobs, you bums? All you, all you niggas want to do is read books. <laughs> hey, but like it tells us, when it really goes down, what does it tell us, man? Isaiah <laughs> 33 and 6 says what? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is his treasure. You see, and why, and why, and why is having this wisdom, not understanding, going to keep us stable? It's because we're, we're going to understand and know why this is happening. We're going to understand and know where this is coming from, why this is being done. So all of you mocking us for 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 being so deep into this book through the Holy Spirit, you see, for constantly talking about how we, uh, uh, how all these things are going to happen, you see. The prophets of doom. You see? You're going to wish the Most High put His Spirit upon you for you to gather this knowledge so you can be stable in the times that we're coming into. Because we understand and know if the Spirit of the Lord ain't on you during these times, man, you're fucked. Give a damn how much money you got, how much clout you have, because ain't none of that shit going to matter when this whole system collapses anyway. The only thing that's, that's going to matter is if you have uh, gathered... And, uh, and stored up this, this 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 oil in your lamp, man. That's all that's going to matter. But it's all happening, man. Everything is coming to pass right on time, just like the most I said, man. Once again, this is not a coincidence. This, coincidence, this is what's coming. <laughs> so you can keep thinking shit is a game. But these days are going to be upon you before you know it. You see? And we'll end it on this one, man. We'll end it on Ezekiel. Damn it. Look right at it and still hit the wrong one. Yup. We'll start at Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says what? And when this 
cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. You see that? Because the only ones who are telling you what's truly coming to this land, giving you the, the true understanding of it all, is the men of, of, of great millstone, beginning with our apostles and elders, and the brothers on down, and the brothers who come in the same spirit of great millstone, preaching the same doctrine as great millstone, man. You see? We're the only ones who have been making this known unto you. And when it finally comes to pass, and Lord will come, you're going to understand that the prophets have been among you, giving you one in this entire time. But you took it for granted. You see? But the blood is off of our hands, man. We've done what we've been commanded to do by the, by the Almighty through His Son, Yahweh Shah. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. You know what I'm saying? Biblical prophecy coming to pass. And it's exciting, man. It's, it's very exciting. You see? But, yay. <laughs> I want to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Ababa, Ababa.